Lightning alert day here on WPBF 25 News. And this is one thing that really scares me. Lightning can strike on a crystal clear day all without warning. And they're called bolts from the blue. And that's what we're going to talk about now as lightning alert day continues here on WPBF 25 News Mornings. Once you start hearing thunder from an approaching thunderstorm, you are in the danger zone already. And even then, we have had instances where people were struck by lightning where even there wasn't any thunder to warn them. That exact scenario played out at Daytona Beach Shores in early June. There was no sign of bad weather when a lightning strike came out of nowhere, hitting an 11 year old boy in the head. He had been standing in waist deep water fishing. Fortunately, an off duty firefighter certified in CPR was standing nearby. He wasn't breathing, and then all of a sudden, um, after our compressions, he started breathing, and it was a huge sigh of relief. These bolts from the blue are dangerously unpredictable. Those uh, lightning bolts can reach out four or five miles out in front of these thunderheads, so uh, it, it's not necessarily a uh, big dark cloud that has to be right over you. It's the front leading edge of that, that storm, especially down here in Florida. We get a lot of that. That's why it's so important for you to track weather, and you could do so easily with our WPBF 25 News weather app. And if there is a storm five or six miles offshore, remember lightning can travel up to 10, 15 miles even from the thunderhead. So you may want to consider avoiding the beach, the pool, perhaps stay indoors instead. It's always scary, and like you said, those bolts from the blue, like that's just that's frightening because so often in Florida you're at the beach, you think it's wonderful, and it starts sprinkling or something mm -hmm. happens, and so yeah, very scary. You want to be careful out there. Hang on to our app. Hold it for close, sure. Paul. Good advice.